Dakota, Representative Holberg, to the con amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members, and I would ask for a red vote on this, and um, I'll apologize. I'm going to get a little choked up here. My parents did foster care for special needs children. In 1968, prior to Roe v. Wade, obviously, they received a call. And the call was, would you take this baby into your home? We know he's not going to live. We don't want him to die in the hospital. Would you be willing to take him as a foster child and love him and care for him until he dies? And my parents said yes. He is my brother. He is now in his 40s. Has he had challenges? You bet. He has had lots of challenges. But we loved and cared for him. He was missing part of his arms. My mom made him homemade helmets for him when he started to learn to walk because he couldn't break his falls. He's had nine lives. He's had four-wheeler accidents. He sat in a coma with a brain injury for three months and woke up, woke up one day. But he had a right to be treated as a human being. In addition, we took babies that had the water on the brain. I think it's one of these conditions listed on your form, Representative Khan. We also took babies that had uh, the small brain. And you know what? Yeah, the babies wore hats a lot. And they didn't live real long, but they came into our home we loved them, we cared for them, and we respected their lives. And I'm sorry that some families determining a genetic anomaly post 20 weeks, it's painful. And really, really hard decisions have to be made. And I understand that. We have an emerging uh, practice uh, of hospice in these situations in which if the baby is experiencing pain, they provide pain relief. They counsel the family, they provide medical support, emotional support, provide for re religious support if it is uh, asked for. None of us get a free ride here. We all have different challenges. And I have great sympathy and empathy for families that determine late in the pregnancy that there's a challenge with the baby. But that does not negate the reality that at some point in development, we have a duty, and I believe that it's pre-viability, to recognize the human nature of these babies, the fact that they feel pain like you and I, and that they deserve the dignity of every human being. And I would ask members to vote no on the Khan Amendment.